welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Megan and it is time for yet another movie vlog if you've seen my channel before this is my third movie vlog I have moved every year for the last 10 years so basically my entire adult life when I was in college and then after college I have stayed in all of my apartments for one year last year my husband and I moved from California to Florida into a one-bedroom apartment and then we had a child who is now one month old and release is up and it is time to upgrade to a bigger place since we now have a daughter and so we just bought our first home it's a three bedroom townhome and we are so excited to move in and so I thought I would take you along not just a moving vlog but moving with a one month old so luckily my parents are currently in town from Vermont and they have been so helpful you can already see some of the boxes they've done these are the boxes they've done so far they've done let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten they have done ten boxes of just some of the things that we don't need yet we're moving in two and a half weeks so we have you know like some tupperware instapot that kind of thing um some wine glasses so we've been making our way we got the bubble wrap we got some paper we are currently working on some glassware in here and that's where we're at. They got 15 boxes and we're already basically at that cap. So probably have to go back to the store pretty soon. By me, I mean them because I'm taking care of my one month old who is peacefully sleeping right now in her bassinet. So I'm gonna try to help and put some clothes on the bed that they can pack right now so that I can start working on the clothes. All right, this is what I put on the bed so far. Luckily, it's summer, so I can put all my long layers, and I'm also postpartum, so not everything fits me right now. So I'm just gonna put everything that I don't think I'll wear in the next two and a half weeks on the bed. It is the next day and we have almost completely packed our closet just leaving some stuff that we need for the next couple of weeks in the bathroom I'll show you an update on what the boxes look like it is now Saturday so day three I think of this moving vlog and I am trying to just find whatever I don't need for living in the next two weeks so trying to pick up a few more things from the bathroom a few more things from the kitchen and just pack as much as we can.
later and my parents are gone back to Vermont and we basically packed everything we can pack for now because everything else is stuff we need or it's furniture or stuff we're using still so I'll show you what it's looking like now but this is going to be basically the status until next Saturday when we can start moving stuff and then we'll see after that if there's anything more we have about a week where we can move stuff and then we'll probably just do all the stuff that we still need slash furniture the following Saturday. These are the boxes we packed quite a lot my parents did 99.9 of this percent so I'm very grateful these are all the boxes we have and then this is like a lot of baby stuff that is just staying packed up until we move and other than that we're just trying to work with what we got for now it is about a week later and we are about to go to our closing getting ready with the baby by yourself it's quite the feat but i did it i have my coffee ready to go andrew's gonna be here in a few minutes to pick me up he just did our final walk through of the house and now we're gonna go do our closing and then we officially have our house which is so exciting and then we move today's tuesday we're gonna move on saturday happy moving day we just got back with the u-haul truck andrew's parking it right now and we have some people coming over in maybe 20 minutes to help us start loading the truck and then our move begins Okay, it's the end of the day and I vlogged absolutely nothing and as you can tell I'm in my bed because it's like 9 p.m. I'm exhausted. Andrew just went back to the apartment because we weren't able to get everything and we still didn't get everything but it's been raining pretty hard and it's gonna rain through the rest of the night. So we do have a week leeway between our apartment lease ending and when we moved in here it ends next Friday and today's Saturday or next Saturday so we have a whole week left to go back and get the rest of the stuff but he went back got some stuff in the fridge got a package that delivered my prenatal we had all of Andrew's family over helping today the friends from church so very thankful for all of our help we were able to finish packing everything and get everything loaded in the truck bring it over to the new place um, we moved about 30 minutes from where we were previously living. And then, yeah, like I said, Andrew just went back. So we have probably like 90% of it here. And I've been trying to unpack, but all I've done successfully is make our bed. And then get in our bed because our daughter, you know, she kind of has a witching hour at the end of the day. Lots of eating, lots of crying, not a lot of sleeping. So... Since Andrew is not here, I've been kind of taking care of that. But she did just fall asleep on the bed, so I'm going to see if I can unpack a few things. But that's where we're at. Maybe I'll do some future videos of like decorating since we own this home. I think I mentioned we bought it. Definitely a lot I want to do. I want to paint the nursery and really like make this home our own. It's the first time I won't be moving after a, a year. I've moved every single year for the last decade of my life, which is crazy so since we'll be here a few years likely this is just like our starter home it'll be nice to really make it our own and I want to plant like a blueberry bush in the back like I'm just really excited I have a lot of ideas so I'll definitely be having future videos of doing all of those things like putting the nursery together but for now this has been my moving vlog I will insert the empty apartment tour here but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up Subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! It's the next morning, and this is the promised empty tour. I have unpacked a little bit because I've been looking for coffee, although the amount of things needed for coffee, I need a mug, I need my milk, I put protein powder, a spoon, the machine, so many things. So, I haven't packed many things looking for this, but I'm gonna show you a really quick empty slash very messy with boxes tour. Okay, you walk in and you have our living room slash like dining room. So right now it's just one long room, but we'll put a kitchen table in here. I think we're going to sell our two couches and replace with a larger sectional. So that will all go in here with a TV and things like that. And then over here is the kitchen. This came with all the appliances, which was really nice and we bought it. So we have the microwave, the stove, fridge a really nice farmhouse sink. As you can see, I'm in the process of getting the coffee, as I mentioned. 
really nice farmhouse sink. The cabinets, dishwasher, and then a pantry that I was starting to unpack a little into as well. There's some space at the bottom, which will be great for some larger items. And then come through this pile of boxes. <laughs> and in there we have our washer and dryer. There's nothing but that in there. So I think we're gonna want to build a shelf to put some of the cleaning supplies. That's just like an electrical closet. And then through this door is a little half bath. Oh, hold on. So we have toilet, just like a mirror, sink, and toilet. And then out here is our little patio space. That's where our egg chair is gonna go. We're getting this screened in in a few days as well. And then our backyard goes to that red flag right before the pond. And then as you can see, those are some houses being built behind us. And then these are stairs to go upstairs. I'll start by going to the room all the way at the end. This is gonna be kind of a mix of a room of an office, also a guest room. Maybe like work out in this room, put Andrew's music stuff. I don't know, it's not that big of a room, but we're gonna to try to make a lot out of it. And then this is the closet. And then down here, this room right here is gonna be our daughter's nurse nursery. So as you can see, of course, the changing table is already set up and all that stuff. So this will be her bedroom. And then, and here is her closet. You see closet. And then this is the bathroom that they share or not that they share. I mean, those two bedrooms share it, but just her for now. So sink, toilet, and then like bathtub and shower. And then this is just, oh, that, whatever that's called, uh, a switch thing. Um, this is what I was thinking of. It's just a little closet for organization. And then this is our bedroom. I already have the bed, of course, since we slept in it last night, her bassinet. Um, and then see the water out the window, which is really nice. And then in here is just the closet. Um, and then in here is the bathroom. Sorry, we don't have our trash can yet. <laughs> so it's kind of messy, but we have the sink and the shower and the toilet. And that is our empty apartment tour.